Have you ever wanted to invest in real estate? Well, now there is a way that you can invest in real estate in a way that is powerful, simple, and low cost, according to their website. Today, I'm going to be talking about Fundrise. I'm going to be talking about what is it. I'm going to review the app, and I'm actually going to be talking about how my investment plan works and thoughts so far of using this app. Now, before we start, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. This really helps other people find my other content and videos like this faster on YouTube. Now, let's get started. Fundrise is a way where you can simply invest money into real estate or real estate projects. This is also considered, uh, in a way, a REIT, which before I explain, it's a real estate investment trust. Uh, Fundrise itself was funded in 2010 in Washington, USA, and it was pretty much the first successful firm to crowdsource funds into real estate, according to Wikipedia. Now, if you don't know what crowdsource means, it's pretty much where you get a whole bunch of people and you uh, get money. Now, how really Fundrise works? So pretty much anybody who is a U.S. citizen or permanent resident or really a U.S. person, technically, um, you know, who has a social security can participate or invest. The pricing, really, there is an advisory fee, which is 15 percent or I mean, 0.15 percent, which is just one dollar and 50 cents for every one thousand you invest and eight dollars and 50 cents for every one thousand dollars invested if you're like uh, using like an asset manager now uh, is fundrise a long-term investment the simple answer is yes so fundrise is pretty much uh, a place where you should put the money and forget about it and just simply review it every five years now how liquid is fundrise uh, in terms of liquidity it just means how if you were to need your money tomorrow how would you be able to get it uh, even though Fundrise claims are they're liquid, keep in mind that they could deny uh, for you to take your money out in times of uncertainty, like coronavirus. So just keep that in mind. Now, how do returns work at Fundrise? Pretty much, again, it's just a simple rate of return, and it pretty much these properties make dividends and profits, and then they share those profits and dividends based on your amount invested. Uh, specifically in a you know project basis so every project that you're you'll be investing in will have a different uh, rate of return now what type of apps or pretty much plans are there there is an actual core uh, plan which you need a minimum of one thousand uh, dollars pretty much you know you get all these like little things and you invest in like 20 to 50 different projects the system automatically picks them for you now there's the advance which is a ten thousand dollar minimum investment and you do have the ability to allocate uh now your funds specifically to some projects um in this specific time they do have like a six month advisory fee wave and then the premium which is like a hundred thousand dollars to start you have everything that has the core and the advanced plans, but now you actually have more of a priority and you have a team that you can talk and I guess uh, work with to ensure your $100,000 investment is uh, producing the biggest return you can get. Now, the app itself is actually something that's very well, very simple. I mean, it's just simple it's easy to understand and you can see how your money is just growing so for example i put a thousand dollars in a an account and as you can see every day i'm getting some cents so it's pretty much the revenue now i like the interface of seeing how your money is being used in specific projects and how you get a description of their profitability yield and pretty much a whole bunch of stuff of the actual property so for example this property is not just allocating the money somewhere or it's so you could tangibly see where this place is at in a map in a picture and you get to see you know the ratings the type of structure the projected annual return and sharp clear images of the project a clear description of the project a timeline of the project how much equity Fundrise owns in this project and pretty much it's very straightforward you know it, it kind of just 
kind of keeps you in the loop like if you were a true owner which you are but i mean it kind of keeps you a little more on edge in terms of information it also gives you you know uh, marketing reports as you guys could see in the image i mean you could see how they've made some analysis or they bought these analysis but i mean they share this information with you and this could ultimately help you become a better investor once you don't need Fundrise. So that's something of value that you might be able to obtain from Fundrise itself just by being an investor or at least a core investor. Now, thoughts so far, I mean, I like the app experience. I like the user experience. It really makes you uh, feel part uh, owner, like I was saying, or feel part partner um, of all those projects, you know, pretty much I like how they visualize stuff. As you guys could see, my $1,000 is active in 74 projects and I could see which ones are the best performers and which ones are giving me the best rate of return or the projected rate of return. I can also see which ones are rated best according to, you know, uh, Fundrise. So for me, uh, the best plan was the core. So I did start with only a thousand dollars because I did not have enough money to put for the uh, middle, which is the advance and requires a ten thousand uh, dollar investment, initial investment. Uh, keep it, this in mind: there is a starter plan, which is like five hundred dollars, and instead of investing from fifty to seventy-four different projects, you would only be investing in like five to twelve projects, but. If you don't have a thousand dollars, or if you think a thousand dollars is still too much, uh, there is a hidden kind of starter plan that they don't promote as much, but it's it's there. Now, I'm thinking and eventually growing my contribution to this account. Uh, I'm not gonna focus a lot on this account, but I still think that eventually, if I make a weekly contribution or a monthly contribution, it could really grow to become something a little bit more attractive in the future for me. So let me know what you think. Do you prefer investing in a regular stock uh, REIT, or perhaps in real real estate? <laughs> real, real. Or do you think that this gives uh, newer investors with less capital an opportunity to invest in real estate? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to click on that subscribe button if you like this content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in.